Good evening, everyone. Tonight, I want to tell you about a really cool tool I think everyone in Deep Racer, especially the Student League, should be using. GeoGebra is an online graphics calculator. It is free to use, and it has really cool nifty features where you can type in the formula, type in constants, and then animate this over time. So what you're seeing here is this quadratic equation where I have variables for A, B, and C, the constants. I've animated it and it's it's super cool so you might be wondering okay why am i doing this well i like i like visualizing my reward function shapes i like typing in my reward function understanding how it changes over time especially for the input values so if i have a reward function for speed i want to know how it behaves depending on each value of speed if i have a reward function for the heading of the car or how close it is to the center point or how close it is to the next waypoint or whatever it may be, I can visualize it in this tool. All right, so how did I do this? Well, it's pretty simple. You just type in A equals and then a constant value and it automatically gives you a slider, right? You can go ahead and change the settings, change the min and the max and even the incremental value. Uh, you can have multiple constants and then you can just add it into your formula, right? So here I have a formula, AX cubed plus BX squared plus CX, right? And because of the values that I have here, it's all linked. So if I move the B slider, it changes the value of the formula, right? So I think that's pretty nifty. If you're trying to come up with ideas, it's something useful. In a previous video, I talked about how important it is to understand the input domain as well as the range of the function that's the output of the function and for example let's say i want to use this curve right here for the uh, steering angle right but the steering angle is actually actually let me not use this one let me use the quadratic so i'm going to say i want to have high reward if the steering angle is uh close to zero right i want to drive i want it to drive straight so i can create a here's a reward function i just moved around when the steering angle is zero so basically driving straight i have the maximum reward right seems pretty reasonable however the steering angle in deep racer student league is from negative 30 to 30 degrees so what I like about this is I can compose functions, right? I can say, uh, let me make a function that is uh, f and I do 0.20x, right? So now I have a function p where the input to my function is 0.20x. I've scaled the input, right? So before the max was at zero, giving value of four and the the intercept with the, the x-intercept was at 3. I scaled it out. Now the x-intercept is 15. Well, you know what? I can keep making this a larger number. So that now, look, the, the x-intercept is 30. So now, and here's the formula I can use. 0.45 times 0.1 x squared plus etc. 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 Right? This is the this is my reward formula. This is the reward function shape. So this is why this is I find it so useful because now I know if I feed it the steering angle, I'm going to have a maximum value of four for zero, and um, I guess a value of zero for thirty degrees. Right? I don't want it to reward thirty degrees if I want it to go straight. And of course I can change this shape to something else. I can make it steeper. I can make it whatever I want. But now I visualized it. And once I have a basic f shape, I can scale it by um, composing these functions, right? By calling f of x and it calculates the, it simplifies the function for me. Now this is the function down here where I'm highlighting here. This is what I use in my code. So this is the one that I code up. So again, I think this is a super useful tool. If you're trying to come up with new uh, reward function ideas, really think about what the input is is it the steering angle is it the speed is it whatever it may be and then you create a reward function to sh to um to match that 
All right, I hope this was helpful. Good luck out there. See you next time. There you have it, folks. Team Boltron. Stay tuned for more. Make sure to subscribe and click the like button if you want to see more of this content.